Trouble relationship, unhappy marriage, healthy relationship, relationship problem, breaking up with someone you love, good relationship, a perfect relationship. They all have a common solution or problem. Not understanding or able to speak the love language. If you want to flourish and enjoy a relationship, here are what you need to know. According to Dr. Gary Chapman, there are five love languages. Word of affirmation, gift, acts of services, quality time, and physical touch. So each one of us has a dominant love language, which speaks more deeply to us than all the others. So discovering each other's language and speaking it regularly is the best way to keep love alive in any relationship. So before we get into the list of different languages, please do hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel so that you get all the video that I put out and also like this video if so far you find it useful. The first love language. Words of affirmation. If your partner dominant language is word of affirmation, then it will help you by using affirmation word, positive word, compliment to build up your partner. The use of verbal compliment or words of appreciation they are very powerful communicators of love and they are best expressed as a straightforward statement of affirmation. You know, the sole objective of love is not getting something you want, but doing everything in your power for the contentment of the one you love. And when we receive positive words we are far more likely to be motivated to give back. If we are to communicate love verbally, we must use kind words. You know, sometimes our voice are saying one thing, but our tone of voice is saying another. You know, your partner will usually interpret your message based on the tone of voice, not the word you use. Love makes requests, not demand while dating or in marriage or in any type of relationship you and your partner you are a equal adult partner we are not perfect to be sure if we have to develop an intimate relationship we need to know each other desire the way we express those desire is all important if they come across as demand or accusation we have erased the possibility of intimacy and we drive our partner away. If, however, we make known our needs and desire as a request, we are giving guidance and ultimate talk. When you make a request of your partner, you are affirming his or her worth and ability. A request introduces the element of choice your partner or your friend or whoever in that relationship may choose to respond to your request or to deny it because love is always and will always be a choice your partner may comply with your demand but it is not an expression of love a request create the possibility of an expression of love whereas demand suffocate that possibility the second love language quality time by which i mean giving your partner your undivided attention taking a walk together or sitting on the couch with the tv off and talking or listening or for example cooking together togetherness 
has to do with focus, giving your partner your undivided attention. Not sitting on the couch watching TV together. That's not. It means that we are doing something together and that we are giving our full attention to the other person. The activity in which we are both engaged is incidental. It is simply a vehicle that creates a sense of togetherness. Sympathetic dialogue involves shared experience, thought, feeling, and desire in a friendly and uninterrupted context. And quality conversation focuses on what we are hearing, drawing out your partner thought, listening sympathetically, asking questions, starting by who, what, how, where, and you know, sometimes just a gentle why, with a genuine desire to understand. Maintain eye contact when partner is talking. Don't talk over your partner. Don't listen to your partner and do something else at the same time. So I say, you know, I can multitask. No. Listen for feeling. Observe your partner's body language. Refuse to interrupt. No, learning to talk. No, Self-revelation does not come easy for some of us. Awareness and expression of our emotion is essential for a healthy relationship. Emotions are neither good or bad. They are simply our psychological response to the events of life. In each of life's events, we have emotion, thought, desire, and eventually action. It is the expression of this process that we can call self-expression. Quality activities. This can include anything in which one or both of you has an interest. The emphasis is not on what you are doing, but on why you are doing it. The purpose is to experience something together, to walk away from it feeling, wow, my partner cares for me. She or he was willing to do something with me that I enjoy and did it with a positive attitude. The essential ingredient in a quality activities are at least one of you want to do it. The other is willing to do it. Both of you know why you're doing it, to express love by being together. Does quality activities mean careful planning? Well, yes does mean we have to give up some individual activities? Yes, maybe. Does it mean we have to do something we don't particularly enjoy? Well, certainly. Is it worth it? Without a doubt. The third love language, receiving gift. A gift says she or he was thinking about me. Look what he got or what she got for me. Gift giving. Gift giving is a universal part of the love relationship. It is a fundamental expression of love that transcends cultural barriers. You must be thinking of someone to give them a gift. And the gift itself is a symbol of that thought. It doesn't matter whether it costs money, gift may be purchased, found, or made. What is very important is that you thought of your partner. And it is not just the thought and planting in the mind that count, but the thought expressed in actually securing the gift and giving it as an expression of love. The gift of self, or let's say presence, is an intangible gift that can speak more loudly than a gift that can be held in one hand. 
being there when your partner needs you is a priceless gift. Your body becomes the symbol of your love. The fourth love language, act of service. Act of service, doing something for your partner that you know they will like. Cooking a meal, for example, or washing dishes, or vacuuming floor are all acts of service. Acts of services mean doing things you know your partner would like you to do. You seek to please them by serving, which you require thought, planning, time, effort, and energy. But the request for service cannot be demand, manipulation by guilt or force by fear. Love is a choice that cannot be fought, and each one of us decide daily to love or not to love our partner. If we choose to love, then expressing it in a way in which our partner requests will make our love most effective emotionally. The fifth love language, physical touch, holding hands, hugging, kissing, sexual intercourse are all expressions of love. Physical touch is a fundamental expression of love and meet an essential biological need within each one of us. Holding hands, kissing, embracing, back rubbing, and sexual intimacy are all ways of communicating emotional love to your partner. Since touch receptors are located throughout the body, lovingly touching your partner just about anywhere can be an expression of love. But remember, your touch does not always need to be sexual in nature or intent. Keep in mind that the time of crisis is a particularly important time to extend the gift of touch to your partner. So, yeah, you have it. Go build the best relationship ever. What is your dominant love language? And do you have more than one? Tell us in the comment box below. For some people have one or more than one. And also you can read the book, The Five Love Languages, on which I base to write this video. The link is in the description below. Go read it. So please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet so that you don't miss the future video and also like this video. Thank you. And I am always pleased you know, to bring you some excellent video and I'm looking forward to bringing you more next time. Thank you and God bless you.